Hi everybody! Today I have the Allure Beauty Box for the month of October. If you watched my August and September videos um, about this box, then you know that I like to make this video normally while sitting in my bathroom, but the lighting wasn't working in there today, so I'm downstairs in the den trying it in here. It's raining out, so normally when I make these it's really sunny, but it's rainy. It has been all morning, it's going to be raining all day, so there's really nothing I can do because I don't have any like fancy studio or filming lighting. I just have to use like lamps and stuff that's around my house. So that's why I'm down here. I think the lighting is actually better down here than it is upstairs. Um, that's my cat and he's going to be poking around apparently today. So you might hear and see him a little bit and again it is still raining so if you hear the rain that's what's going on. So let's take a peek at what's in the box for October. All right, so as usual, here's the box. And inside is the little pamphlet that it comes with and gives us all the information inside about what's to come. And as usual, I'm going to start right with the first thing that's in the booklet. So that's what it shows me. I don't know if that's going to focus so good, but it's the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, which is in this tube. It's a one ounce sample and it says no sulfates, silicones, and no parabens. You know, everything's chemicals, everything has stuff in it, but if something can at least make an effort to exclude some things, then I appreciate that. Okay, and here's what it says about it. It's a light yet super moisturizing conditioner, smooths, detangles, and makes even dry chemically treated hair feel soft. Floral scented mask isn't putting thick, it feels more like a regular conditioner. And it's packed with heavy duty moisturizers that hydrate the hair without weighing it down. A nickel sized blob was enough to make the testers thick coarse hair super shiny. Okay, and the full price is $36 looks like for eight ounces. So I, it says floral scented. So I'm going to just take a little sniff. Yeah, it does smell nice. Um, and consistency wise, it's like a medium to thick moisturizer. That's the best I can compare it to. And it smells pleasant. So that's good. I will definitely be trying this. Um, the directions say, after shampooing, massage, don't despair, repair, into the hair from root to tip, leave in for 5 to 10 minutes before rinsing. For even deeper conditioning, cover the hair in a plastic cap to retain moisture while sitting under the dryer for 20 minutes, then rinse. Well, I'm not going to do option B because I don't, I'm not going to sit under my hair dryer for 20 minutes, but I could definitely do the 5 to 10 before rinsing with a shower cap in the shower. So that sounds good to me. This is, this is a good sample. The next item is the Spongele Freesia Pear Body Wash Infused buff, Buffer. I thought it said butter, but no, it says buffer. There's the page in the picture. And this looks like a very large, I mean, look at the size of that. This is a pretty big box. It says it's a fragranced shower sponge that's infused with moisturizers, cleanses, hydrates, and scents your skin. Hockey puck shaped sponge feels stiff when dry but softens in the shower to release a velvety lather. It smells lush, fresh, and slightly floral, kind of like a beautiful garden after the rain. It buffs away dead skin cells, leaves your skin smelling amazing, it can double as a room or a gym bag atomizer. The price is $15. And you can get it at spongelay.com. And the, if I didn't say for the Briogeo, you can get um, that deep conditioning mask at briogeohair.com. Okay, I'm going to open this up. Multi-use, two and a half ounces. Body wash infused buffer. Okay, is that the... According to the picture, it shows um, two and a half ounces on the picture in the booklet, so this must just be the actual item, like the full-size item. Hmm. This is what it looks like. It definitely, they're right, it totally looks like a hockey puck. But like 
a sponge. A sponge in the shape of a hockey puck. And possibly the thickness too. I mean, this is pretty big. Look at that. That's, that's pretty big. And it's all wrapped in plastic, so I'm not going to open it um, just yet because, I don't know, I don't want it to get like everywhere and go in the bathroom and lather it up and stuff. It does smell very nice and it is stiff, but you can still squish it a little bit. So just, you know, a sponge is a sponge. What, what do you have to say? It smells really nice. That's cool. And inside there's also a sponge -a I hope I'm saying that right. 25% off entire store coupon if you use the code Allure. So that's pretty nice. The offer expires December 31st of 2016, one per customer, of course. Well, that's pretty cool. So if you like this and maybe you want to give it as a gift or like some of their other products that you want to buy, especially with the holidays coming up, that coupon might come in handy. The instructions on the back say, place a sponge under water, squeeze to absorb, massage in a circular motion to cleanse skin, squeeze out excess water after each use. The third item is the Deuce, D-O-U-C-C-E, is that right? The Deuce Freematic Eyeshadow Single in Christy. And there it is on the page. What it is, a brown powder eyeshadow with a tinge of shimmer. The quilted compact looks elegant off the bat. The shade is a rich brown with gold tones. Um, ask any makeup artist what eyeshadow is a VM, v, MVP in her kit and it will likely be a bronze. You can wear it as a liner, highlighter, cross your litter in the crease or all of the above. This one is rich and looks great on all skin tones. It's $10 and you can get it at their website. And the bottom says there, 62 Christy Shimmer. It comes in this little like soft velvety um, just thin kind of a plastic holder and you pop the sample out I guess and then this is it's pretty small so that's that's the sample size and it is a nice shade um, and it's quilted you know that little pattern on it like it says uh, brown with shimmer and I don't normally wear a lot of eyeshadow just because I'm not good at applying eyeshadow but that's okay oh it's nice and soft and it's definitely a warm brown tone it's pretty I could see not for me probably not wearing this as an eyeshadow on its own but um which I know you don't often do anyway, kind of make mix and match colors and whatnot. So I would definitely do that with something a little bit darker even. If I was going to do like a smokier look, this would be pretty to pair with that. I don't see it so shimmery right now, but maybe it's just the light that I have going on here. It doesn't seem very shimmery, but it's not really a fair assessment until I actually put it on my eyelids. Next up is the Tatcha Indigo Soothing Silk Body Butter. And this is a really nice size sample. Does it say on here? Um, one fluid ounce. So look at that, I mean, that's a nice size. That is not tiny by any means. Um, what it is, a scented coddling, what does coddling mean? A scented coddling, supremely cool looking body moisturizer hydrates and soothes skin. The pretty purple blue cream absorbs quickly without leaving greasy residue. It has a sophisticated watery floral scent that lingers for about an hour. So it looks like it co contains colloidal oatmeal, an extremely gentle hydrator, which is normally like for kids stuff, for kids products. Think of it as the cashmere onesie of body creams. It's $12 for one ounce from Tatcha.com. It smells like, I don't know, definitely watery floral. That's a weird way to, to say it like they did, but I actually agree with whatever that means. It smells good. It smells kind of clean. 
Maybe if I smell it a hundred more times, I can, I can tell. So I'm going to try some. It is a purpley blue color. I have never had a lotion that is this color, but I like it. It rubs in very easily. Um, I'll give it a second to kind of dry before I tell if it's sticky. Could just be because it's still wet. Yeah, I like it. And look at that pretty color. That's neat. That's so cool. I mean, most of the time moisturizers are white. I don't know if I've seen one that's another color, really. That's nice, though. I like it. It says on the back, Indigo Soothing Silk Body Butter. For me, the test for this will be with the colder weather that we have coming up because my skin gets extremely dry, including on my hands, of course, during the winter months. So if this can help my dry hands, and maybe I'll put on like my arms and my elbows too. Um, if this can help that and like, I don't know, like doesn't wear off very quickly because for me a lot of moisturizers, they just seem to be gone in no time. That'll be the real test for this for me. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Next up is the Mali Volumizing Mascara. And is this another full size item? It says it's a mascara that lengthens, separates, and thickens lashes. The brush looks soft and plush, but it's actually packed with spiky nylon bristles that comb through lashes, separate every hair, form is glossy and remarkably non-gloppy. Non Somewhere between national, natural lashes and Kardashian lashes is a sexy, lush, full fringe that's as pretty during the day as it is dramatic at night. A few swipes, this will get you to the mascara sweet spot. It's $20 from MalleyBeauty.com. This is in the color black. And this is like just a normal full size tube of mascara. So how awesome is that? Because if the full price is $20, but I didn't even spend $20 on this whole box, then this is awesome. Okay, I wanna take a look at the bristles. And they said they're nylon bristles. I mean, the, the bristles look normal to me. I'm certainly no mascara expert, but they look normal to me. Okay, nice. And I'm wearing mascara right now, so I'm not going to try it on. Next time, though, that I go to put on some mascara, I'm going to be trying this one. That's nice. Like a full-size sample. Love it. I think this box has a lot of big stuff in it. Okay, so the last item is the Chloron Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. It is an aerosol dry shampoo for all hair types and colors. Degreases dirty hair. And a white mist powdery floral scent doesn't stick around for long. Uh, people love to talk about how multi-purpose dry shampoos are. It gets oily slickness out of the roots and fluffs up length, mid-lengths, and ends. In the booklet, they talk about all the editors um, from Allure that tried this product and really liked it. And you just spray it on your roots, let it sit for two minutes, and then brush really well. It's $20 for 3.2 ounces. You could find it at chloranusa.com. The sample size is one ounce and dry shampoo with oat milk. I'm pretty sure the directions on the back are just going to say the same thing as in the booklet. Oh, shake well, spray evenly 10 inches away from hair, focusing at the roots, leave on for two minutes, and then brush hair thoroughly until the powder is removed. This is good because I don't think I have any dry shampoo at the moment. And I've used it before in the past and I like it. So either if you don't have time to take a shower, you know, and you need just something in your hair to make it look less icky, um, or you need to kind of give it some texture or something if you're going to be styling it a certain way. And uh, then this is really useful and I've, I've used it before for that. And especially when I was switching between like an old shampoo and conditioner to a new shampoo and conditioner and my hair was not adjusting well, I found dry shampoo to be pretty useful, so I'm glad I have that. I'm going to hang on to that for the next time I need it. So that's it for the items for this month. That's six items total, and I think this month was a really good value. We've got um, two full-size items. Yeah, like two full-size items, and that moisturizer says $12 for one ounce. So actually, actually that's three full-size items this month which I think is great. Um, two of the six items were makeup. I wish that 
like more than the, that was makeup because if you remember um, when I started subscribing for this box I'm really doing it more for makeup rather than like dry shampoo and shower stuff and you know face washes and whatnot but again that's okay I still think this is a fun box to get again I'm three months in and I'm gonna see in the next couple of months if I want to stick with this so far I like it but um, I'm going to be doing another video about a different beauty box very soon maybe like right after I make this video and I'll explain a little bit more then about my future plans for that but it is a good box a good month a really good value I think and um, I'm still happy I'm subscribing so thank you very much for watching and take care can you say goodbye to everybody and thank you for watching no no goodbye? Nothing? Okay. You're cute, so it's okay.